hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have an interesting uh, interesting topic to talk about uh, i was working on a laptop which was a siemens Simatic field pg m6 i will show you the picture of it and it was not turning on and not charging so the first thing i did was I recharged the battery outside the laptop then put it back to the laptop and confirms that the laptop does turn on with the battery so the laptop turns on with the battery that means we have no issues regarding the power on sequences so the motherboard is fine just we have something wrong with the charging circuit and I was looking at the motherboard and I have seen that there is a intercell and it has a marking of 21p IRZ this is the charge controller IC so I tried to find a, any data sheet or a schematic for the whole laptop but I couldn't find so what I found was only this this picture from bad caps and it is for a different ic which was isl 95521hr the one i have is 21 birz this one is 21 hr so it's a little bit different but it does help me in diagnosing the issue so let me first uh, bring uh, a picture of the intercell and the circuit of it okay so here is the IC that I was working on this IC is as you can see is intercell 21p IRZ and this is the circuitry where I was working so yeah let's go back to the camera and explain what was uh, wrong with that laptop let me bring this paper and print, put it here so the intercell IC is as a normal BQ IC it was controlling two MOSFETs okay the gate of two of two MOSFETs and it was also detecting the AC in so we have here AC in okay I, can, I hope you can see this so here we have adapter From the adapter we have 19 volts going to the first MOSFET but it does not pass through because the intercell has to start first. So I know and we all know that BQ chips needs a voltage before the 19 volt can pass through the, the two first and second MOSFETs. So how does it get the power? there is a resistor that provides the power to the chip and this resistor then is connected to a dual diode in one package and then this goes to the IC this diode is having two inputs one is through the battery and one is through the 19 volts before the two MOSFETs so if any of these providing power to this diode it will pass the voltage to the to the IC then the IC gets its 19 volts and starts 
charging it will open these two MOSFETs so we will get 19 volts here but what was wrong with my IC or with the laptop I was working on it wasn't used like this there was there was still a diode here but it was configured differently so from the 19 volts a line from the 19 volts comes to a diode like this in here then we have two diodes both pointing to these pins and from here it goes to the AC in and to the 19 volts which was the DC in this pin this pin so let me draw it here so we have the 19 volts let's draw it here 19 volts coming to the first MOSFET but it doesn't pass because the MOSFET does not is not powered yet it's not drived yet okay so then we have here a line going to a diode dual diode in one package one goes to a voltic divider like so then another resistor here then this is ground and from here it goes to the AC in let me zoom in a little bit so we can see better okay I hope you can understand the layout so from the 19 volts it goes to the diode at the top pin here which was I don't remember pin 2 so we have pin 1, pin 2 and pin 3 so pin 2 gets 19 volts and this 19 volts get separated by these two diodes or distributed by these two diodes so we have 19 volts going this way and we have 19 volts going this way so instead of using a direct line from the 19 volts going to a voltage divider to provide the AC in which was 2.5 volts this voltage divider provides 2.5 volts to the AC in so that the IC detects that the adapter is connected instead of using this topology they used this a, a diode a dual package a dual diode in one package and uh, one of the lines goes to the AC in through the voltage divider and the other one goes directly to the DC in so when I measured using a voltmeter or a, a multimeter from here to there it was a direct link there is no resistance no resistors no nothing no diodes no nothing at all so it's connected here and here this line was there and this line also was there but I wasn't get the 19 volt here I didn't know that I have to work for it for a long time because first time I'm seeing this topology and there is nothing at all in the internet if you try and find any information about this IC the Intercell 21B IRZ you will only find a so-called data short which is a brief description about this IC it doesn't tell you anything about the bin out of the IC I wasn't even sure what bin is the DC in until I find this this uh, this picture from bad caps it really helped me helped me so I I measured from DC in bin 18 and I find it going to this pin let me show you in the in the picture again so here is the picture this is the IC I hope you can see my pointer so this is the IC and this is bin 18 and this pin was going 
exactly here let me try if I can draw on it or something okay so let me yeah so this pin here can I change the color of this pin I can't okay so this pin here going directly here exactly here so this one this was the diode I know this one this pin was going to this voltage divider here then through this resistor here and this is connected to ground so this is ground and from there is going to bin one okay so this what provides the AC in the 2.5 volt AC detect okay then here sh should be a 19 volts but it was missing I couldn't trace it going anywhere so what I did I connected a wire from here directly to the 90 volt which which was somewhere here from here directly somewhere there and the laptop started charging so I fixed the problem by just connecting a line a wire from the 90 volts directly to this point here of the diode then this IC gets the 90 volt at the DC in and I was I found uh, 2.5 volts at the AC in AC in so it is detecting that the adapter is connected then it started these two MOSFETs and then we have the 19 volts power rail up and running so if you try and try and find any information about this IC online you will never find anything trust me you will not find it okay so this is the only problem was this trace was cut and it does not providing the power to the IC so it does start so it's it starts so I hope if anyone encountered this IC he can now know what what to look at what bin is what so I will let you see the bin out of this IC so if anyone want this IC he can know the bin out of it so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and see you in another video